Okay, today we're going to be following the blog post Top 50 GG Plot Visualizations, which will be linked below. And by the end of this video, you will be able to make this plot. A reminder, this is all information I found online. I am reusing their script, but I'm going to explain it for you to understand how to use it as well. This will require the GG Alt package, so if you haven't installed that, I would start doing with that and then load it with the library function. We're going to be using the Midwest data package with ggplot, which shows counties and their demographic information in various states around the Midwest. We're going to change the scientific notation off using SciPen equals 999 using ggplot2, and we're going to make a subset that we will use in ggplot in a moment. So we're going to make a new data frame called Midwest Select, and in this we're going to select a population total that is greater than 350,000 and a population total that is less than or equal to 500,000. The area has to be greater than 0 0.01 and less than 0.1. So all of this contingent information is going to cherry pick data out of this large data set that has 437 observations across 28 variables. And you can see now we have six observations across 28 variables. So this is what we're going to use to create the circles around those six observations in the much larger data set called Midwest. So the plot is going to say ggplot. Midwest is the data. We're going to look at area and population total. It's a scatter plot, so geom point. We're going to color by state. Population density is going to be the size, so the larger the population, the larger the uh, point. Geom smooth. This is for the correlation. Method LUS, standard error false. Use the color blind friendly palette Veritas, distinct. Set your limits, 0.1, 0 to 0.1 for the X limit, 0 to 500,000 for the Y limit. And now we're going to encircle these six observations. So geome encircle, which is part of the GG alt package. The aesthetic's going to be X is the area, Y is pop total, same as we have above. Your data equals Midwest select. So rather than the larger data set Midwest, we're using the subset Midwest Select. We want the color of this encircle to be red. You can choose whatever color you want here. We want the line width to be 2. You can adjust that as well. We want it to be expanding by 0.08. And then these are our labels, subtitle, X and Y label, and your caption. And this creates this plot. Same as last week's plot, so if you want to see that video, just click the link above. But we've encircled one, two, three, four, five, six. Our six observations are circled. So you can adjust these um, parameters in your subset. So if you want to add another circle, you add another variable, you make another data frame, and then you add that into your ggplot as another layer. And that'll help you yield this population density um, based on area in this scatter plot. Stay tuned for next week's video where we're going to do a jitter plot.